Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim, Klal Hey, the fifth chapter, and we're talking about when you speak badly about someone's milus, their their attributes that you think that they do not have. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Oid Ashelacha Achi. I'm going to ask you another question, my dear brother. Al Devar Pitra Yetzer, the way the Yetzahara will seduce and convince a person that he's not doing anything wrong. The Yetzirah comes to a person and says, Ah, well, you, t- you said this guy's not a Chacham, he's not so intelligent. There's no Yelashon Har in that. Why? Because the Yetzirah convinces you, is it his fault? He was born with the less brains than, than his neighbor. He's not so bright. What, what, the guy did something wrong? He didn't do a sin. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't use his Bechir, his free will, to make mistakes. He was born in a way that makes him not so smart. If the guy is short and he's not tall, so I tell you that he's short, that's Lashon Hara, that's reality. He's a short person. If he's very tall, and I tell you he's very tall, is that Lashon Hara? No, that's the way that he was born. So he's not so smart. That's the way that he was born. There's no Lashon Hara over here. That's what the Yetzar would like us to believe. Shetiv chen says the Chavetz Chaim, test yourself in this area. How would you react? When you discover somebody else goes around and reveals to others that you are not so intelligent. Or any of the other shortcomings that they want to point out about your character. Think about how much resentment you would feel towards this person for saying that. You would start thinking about this person and say, What What did he see? What kind of foolishness is he talking about over here? You saw that I'm, I'm not so smart? What's he talking about? The only reason he's saying these nasty things about me is because he's a mean person. And he's a Baal Lashon He loves to speak Lashon it must be his sole intent is to disparage other people and lower them in the eyes of others. Huh, calls me a, a non-intelligent person. However, my friend, says the Chavetz Chaim, you do the exact same thing to your friend when you speak badly about his shortcomings. And the truth of the matter is, it's most likely that he's better than you and more virtuous than you in many areas of his own life. La Hashem, There's things he does better in Avodah Hashem. Maybe he davens better. He has more Yerashamayim. He learns better. Ulebriyais, he does more chesed with people. He's more understanding. He's more compassionate with other people than you are. But when it comes to you, you don't think there's anything, there's no sin over here. I'm just pointing out the shortcomings. What do you want? Look how much blindness there is in this matter when it comes to you. You yourself would be so offended if somebody would point out your shortcomings. But you have no problem pointing out somebody else's shortcomings. When you think about this carefully, you'll realize you'll see that for sure you are speaking Lashon Hara, much more serious than you'll discover when considering other types of negative speech. Meaning you must examine this and realize how terrible it is and that you are for sure speaking Lashon Hara and it's only the Yitzhar that's fooling you in such a case that you're not saying anything bad when in fact you truly are. Because you know very well if somebody said the same exact thing about you, you would be hurt, you would be in pain, you would be embarrassed, and you would get upset with that person, and you would say, what a Baal Lashon Har, what a speaker of Lashon Har he is. But for some reason, when it comes to you saying it, you don't look at it that way. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Achi, my brother, look at things clearly and honestly, and realize the Yitzhar is what's fooling you and tricking you, and you have to be ehrlich, you have to be honest and true, and not say words of Lashon Hara in any case at all. Have a wonderful day.